All right, hey, welcome back. I'm Dave Garrett. This is Vet Cooks, and I was trying to do a live stream, but it didn't work out. So it's Sunday morning. We're making something. We're making breakfast, and what are we making? Again, the old standby, the old classic. Some. We're making an, an omelet, and what is today's omelet? It is ham, cheese, onions, and mushrooms. And who doesn't like that? So. I already got a pan going here. I need to turn up the heat. The butter's taking a little too long to, I'm sorry, the margin's taking a little long to um, to boil, or to, to boil, to melt. Uh, I gotta find the right spatula. That, no worries. Anyway, two eggs, some uh, diced ham, some cheese. What else? Alrighty, so now we're cooking, now we're cooking. Uh, don't forget, a little salt and pepper never hurts, especially for the onions and the mushrooms. Now, we don't want to cook the mushrooms or the onions. Well, we do kind of. It's up to taste. It's up to you, really. There we go. There's that. And as a breakfast, it's it's good. It'll, it'll hold you over. It's rich. It's full of everything. Um, you know, it's just hearty meal. A hearty breakfast and really it's not even a breakfast you can add more stuff remove stuff whatever works for you it's a lunch it's a dinner there we go. All right, I'm gonna cook these down just a little bit more now while that's cooking we're gonna go ahead and um, add some salt to our eggs just two eggs like I said and some pepper there we go. And about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of milk. You can use cream, heavy cream, whatever works for you. And again, this will really fluffing things, fluff things up, fluffing. And the ham, we're doing some diced ham, Frick's diced ham, quality meats, I guess is what it is. And just you see the tiny little pieces of diced ham. So we'll be throwing that in there here in just a bit. All right, so I think it's almost that time to. Yeah, that's all rendered down nice and delicious. All righty. And again, it's a good go to meal. It shouldn't um, shouldn't be that difficult to do. It's just one of those. I think the hardest part is cracking the eggs or breaking, you know, getting the uh, egg ready. So we've got that. There we go. Now we're gonna throw in some. Get that ready here. And we might need to bring down the temperature a little bit. Now, if it looks like it's burning, don't forget you already had some, or in my case, I already had some in there. So that's why I turned it down so it doesn't burn what's already heated up and doesn't start caramelizing whatever's left behind either. We'll put that in there. That's a neat, nice pat of margarine. Okay. Then what we'll do is give our eggs a quick stir, stir, get all of that all around. This will be ready soon. There we go. All righty, here it is. All righty, one more time, and we're gonna go ahead and pour. Get all, that, all of that out. There we go. That was the wrong fork. <laughs> no, that was the right fork. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to let that sit for just a bit. A little shaky shake. Just to see what it looks like. And then, we've got to get this egg cooked. So start from the outside in. Pull inwards. Use your flat spatula. Pull inwards. See, it starts filling in.
Okay, I want to take a moment here real quick to say thank you to everybody that likes, follows, subscribes. And uh, if you're a first-time watcher, don't forget to, um, hey, like, subscribe, leave your comments below. If you have a recipe idea, go ahead and throw it down there as well. I have no problem with that. Uh, other than that, uh, thanks for, again, visiting us on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, and, of course, the website. Let's get back to cooking. There we go. It's cooking. Temperature, again, not too, too it's uh, above medium, but below high. So about three quarters of the way to high. But watch it. Right? Make sure it doesn't start burning. All this liquid cooked. Shaky shake here to make sure everything's nice and loose. Mm. There we go. I've been doing these omelets for years, so it's one of those you get used to it. If you're brand new to omelets, you'll get used to it. You'll figure out what works for you, what is best and when it is time to add, add what you need to add. In this case, it's got a fork, it's all I've got. But we'll go ahead and spread some of this ham. Oh, it should be broken up. Yeah. I know, should have used this spoon. So in this case, the ham is fully cooked. This needs to be warmed up. Again, a little or as much as you want. Now we're going to start adding back the onion mixture. Oops, almost lost it there. Put that out there like that. And then we'll just go in. And I'm just using regular American cheese. Fold it in half, that way it covers everything. And it's cheesy and delicious. All right, we're about ready to take care of business. We'll throw some cheese there. See how fast it goes? And that's that, get everything put away. See what I'm doing here? And you can rotate it however you want. Alrighty, kill that. Okay. Don't let it stick, don't let it burn, and the shoe should be able to rotate it just the way I'm rotating it now. So go ahead and drop it. And the big flip. Boom, there we go. Look at that. That's it. That's all there is to it, folks. Hey, listen. It's time for breakfast. I'm Dave Guerra, and this vet cooks.